Hi, welcome to another episode of Live on What You Grow. Today I'm going to be taking my multi-sown peppers and I'm going to be planting them using the double cup method, which is a far superior way to grow your seedlings and getting them ready to go out in the garden. So here is one that just happened to have only two plants in it because I started I think maybe three or four seeds and only two of them survived but I'm going to grow these two peppers in this cup until they're ready to transplant into the garden and then I'm going to just do like I do the other multi sowing I'm just going to pop those two plants into one hole and I'm going to let them grow together and hopefully I will do some side-by-side -side trials if I get enough plants where I'll take plants that are all the similar size and I'll plant some in the double method and I'll plant some singly and see what kind of results that we get. But let me show you, this is a jalapeno and I'm gonna, oops, I wanna dump that water out of there. As you can see here, the roots haven't really permeated all of that soil ball yet. So I do not need to pot this on when you pot them onto bigger pots they take a lot more space in the greenhouse as you can see using the double cup method there is going to be water in this other cup and when i water these plants any excess water drains into that cup and it holds there and the roots are actually going to come out of these three little slots that i have cut here and they're going to be able to drink up that moisture and let me just show you the alternate my wife Anne bought a few of these plants down in Pennsylvania down in Amish country when she was buying her canning supplies and she was just telling me this morning that she needs to water a plant like this two or three times a day because it gets upwards of 90 degrees in the greenhouse during the day and especially if we don't open it up in time you know even at seven o'clock at eight o'clock in the morning it could be over 80 degrees in there but these plants they dry out so very quickly so that you have to water these two or three times a day and when you use this double cup method i can water this once every two days it's a very important thing because i can't even tell you how many plants that i've lost due to overheating in the greenhouse before i used the double cup method. Here is a, another plant. This is a tomato plant. You can see there's a stone in the bottom. There's water in there. You can see how that the roots are going to come out of these slots and they're going to absorb nutrients and water in the very same way that plants do hydroponically. So, you know, it, it is a very, very far superior method. So I'm going to take these pepper plants. I think I started them either at the end of February or the beginning of March. I don't really remember, but these plants actually, I made a big mistake with them. I put them out into the full sun before I hardened them off and all of these leaves turned white. I thought I lost every one of these plants, but they came back. So, you know, I'm very happy about that. And I don't know what the root systems are going to be like in these pepper plants, but I've got six different varieties in here. So if you look, you're going to see that they're planted in rows. This red cherry, it only has two plants. I'm going to try to scoop those two up and put them into a pot. I'm probably going to put them in these smaller cups because judging by this one, I can see that the root systems didn't really extend to the outside of the cup yet. So I think that I can put these in smaller cups and put them in these smaller trays, take up a lot less room in the greenhouse where I'm going to be putting these. So I said, I don't know exactly what the root structure of all this is going to be. I'm going to try to take this out all in one piece. I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not. Yeah, I think I can. Almost. You know, I'm not really too worried about this because these are all sweet peppers. If I make a mistake and 
mix them up, it's not really going to matter. Of course, you know I'm a perfectionist and I always want to know. These are the two cherry peppers. So you can see that that's about an inch and a half tall. So I'm going to fill this up with my potting soil up to about an inch and a half. Just put those two plants right in there just like that. I'm going to bury them a little bit deeper. If you look a little look right there, you're going to see that there are little nodules there where there's actually roots that are coming out. So I'm going to fill it all the way up to the top now with some soil. I'm sorry that I kind of dumped that out like that. I think that they're going to be mixed up. I'm not going to know exactly which ones are which. That's okay. We live on what we grow. And okay, this is the red cherry tomato. I already cut the slits. Oh, I didn't cut the slits in the bottom of this one. I picked up the wrong cup. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut the slits on it right now. Just show you how to do that. Yeah, I did the same thing on the, the tomato video that I did last week. But I'm just going to cut three slots just like that with a razor blade. And the roots are going to come out of those holes instead of getting root bound like they will do in a pot like this it will get root bound and it will be very detrimental to the plants to become root bound so we've got these other cups here there's a stone in the bottom i'm just gonna pop those plants right into there like that okay let's get the next row here King of the North. Grab two of these cups that I already have the slots. Make sure that I do it right this time. These are nice plants. That's a pretty nice root structure for a plant that is this young. So I'll put just a little bit of soil in this time. Gonna pick off these bottom leaves just like I did with the tomatoes. That one doesn't have any bottom leaves to pick off. Fill it with soil. The knowledge about gardening really has been increasing over the years and there are a lot of things that people have tried and have failed and a lot of the things that work like planting two peppers in the place of one actually gives you the opportunity to grow more food in the same amount of space. And that is something that could be really important. You never know with the food shortages, with the prospects of who knows what with other countries that hate the United States and want to destroy it. Threats of war, food shortages, uh, famines, things like this. You, you don't know that these things are going to happen or whether they're not going to happen. Gaining these kind of skills is always going to be beneficial for you because even if nothing happens, you become a good gardener. And gardening is something that you want to excel at, not something that you just want to do as a hobby. Another king of the north. And I'm also going to be working on another video using a special kind of watering method. These are orange. And this one right here, probably is not going to do anything, but you know, the way that I am, I'm going to just pop that one up. And to do that, I fill it all the way up to the top, poke a hole, just stick it in the hole and close that soil around that plant. That's an orange.
I'm not going to do all of these because I think that you already have the idea and I want to keep the videos as short as possible. Okay, so I've got all of these potted up. All of the peppers that are on this green planting mat are all the peppers that I just planted. And I think that I've got all of the right tags on all of them. Just going to water them a little bit here. Get these out in the greenhouse and you're going to start to see these plants taking off. Right here is that little tiny one. I'm just interested to see if that one is going to do well or not. And one of the next videos that I'm going to make is going to be using a new kind of fertilizing using yeast. And everything that I've looked at, I've looked at dozens of videos of looks like professional growers and homesteaders and people who've planted plants in their garden and then watered half of the plants with the yeast water and the plants really did grow twice as fast as the ones that were untreated. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to try that. Can't wait to try it on these peppers. I'll take some of these pepper plants. I'll pick two that are very similar in size to each other and I'll use this yeast water on one and not on the other. I'm going to do a, a trial on that. That is going to be, I mean, that sounds really, really exciting because we have about 181 days or 161 days of frost free growing where I live. If you can make your plants grow twice as fast, and that's exactly what they're saying. If you can make plants grow twice as fast, it's like doubling the growing season. And if you're going to be living on what you grow, I can just imagine what kind of food preparation and storage that we're going to be doing this fall. I just hope that that is something that really works, but I'll let you know as soon as I get going on that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.